Hey guys, it's Keisha here. Um, I wanted to just pop on real quick and show you guys the results of my bottle cap and clothespin swap that I'm doing with Tamika, who is Scrap the World over um, here on YouTube. And so um, I signed up for the bottle cap swap and the clothespin swap because I've never done either and so I thought it would be a great challenge for me to step out of my comfort zone and do something a little different. Um, so I'll show you first uh, the clothespins. So for the clothespins you had to do four sets of three clothespins. You could do them with Prima Paper, Graphic 45, Recollections, or Washi Tape. So I kind of did a combination. I started off with paper and then ended up doing washi tape on all of them because it was just so much easier. Um, so here is the first one. And I'll take out the bag so you can see. So there's the first one. And this is washi tape. And so I just backed it on a piece of black cardstock that I kind of made into a card. So the recipient can do whatever they want on the inside. They can take these off use the and just use this as a card or leave them on there or however they want to do it. Um, this paper is the Prima is it Mademoiselle collection I think? Mademoiselle collection. Um, I put an extra piece of trim just because and the washi tape is um, my mind's eye. Okay. And so for this one here, I don't know if you can tell, but behind the button is a, ooh, it's, is it going to focus? I don't know. I'm filming this with my cell phone, so I hope this comes out okay. Um, I just took a white flower, um, Prima flower, I think it's Prima, and um, sprayed it with my Delusion inks and my Heidi Swap inks and even did a little painting with my paint brushes. Um, so that's all I did there. And that's pretty much it for that one. And here is the next one. This is the first one that I did, and I was going for a more grungy, um, vintagey kind of look, I guess. So um, the cardstock here, I covered it with my Tim Holtz tissue paper with the music notes. And this strip here is from the Prima Botanicals collection. And then I just put some flowers over here. And then here are my clothespins. Um, I covered them with the Botanical Collection paper. And these are actually painted. Um, that one's red. This one is painted green. And this one is painted blue. And then I put a little uh, bronze dragonfly charm on there. And some green trim. And again, it's just a black cardstock and then there's extra trim in the bag. Okay. And then here is the next one, which I really love the way this one came out. I love the brown and the pink together. Um, and then I threw in some turquoise here with this flower. And I sprayed that flower um, with probably my delusions. It might have been Heidi Swap, I'm not sure, but I sprayed that. This is just some beads that I had and I put them on with uh, glossy accents. Ooh, focus, focus. Sorry, guys. And then um, again, this washi tape is this one is from my mind's eye, and this one is just from my stash. And there's the extra trim. And then there's this one here. Um, there's the trim. And then this uh, watchy tape is also from my mind's eye. And I put a little flower back there. And again, this paper is from the um, Prima Botanicals collection. And then there's some trim there and some lace. And then another flower. Oops, sorry. Another flower with um, a silver butterfly. And then the last one, um, I made an extra one because I made one for Tamika. She can pick whichever one she wants. The last one is this one here. Um, 
the chevron washi tape is from my collection the paper here is from prima botanicals uh, I, think, I think this is mademoiselle um, these are just wild orchid craft flowers that I sprayed and I can't really see those very well there we go and then put a little charm on that one and then here is some more trim and here is extra trim okay so those are my clothespins and then I have my bottle caps and for the bottle caps you had to make four wait three sets of three bottle caps and here they are here's the first one and this was really fun I've never done bottle caps before um, I actually went on YouTube and saw that I could squish them with my cuddle bug to get the flat look here and then that one I actually just left open so for this one here there is pattern paper in the bottom and then I put glitter and glossy accents on top and then just put the bird in the middle and I love the way it came out um, that's that green lace um, that I used on one of the other cards here or one of the um, one of the uh, clothespins here and I just wrapped it around the back and then these um, metal leaves came from a lady on Etsy I don't remember her name but they came from this lady on Etsy and then on the back I just put a crocheted flower and then there are my beads okay and then I'm not going to take these two off because there's nothing on the back of these but there is that one again these are um, let's see these two are magnets um, from Michaels the little dollar bin magnets and then that's my bead for that one and I'll put the same one over here okay so that's that one. Oh, and this paper is um, Prima uh, Mademoiselle. I believe that's what that stack is called, Mademoiselle. But I love the pink and the turquoise and the brown. I love it. And then there's this one, which is one of my favorites. The one I just showed you is one of my favorites too. I can't get it out. Okay. So then there's this one here. It says Take Flight. Again. Um, the side bottle caps are from the are decorated with the magnets from Michaels. I just took the magnet off the back, and then there's my beads on those two, and then there's this one. So what I did for this one, I just put feathers that I got from Hobby Lobby on the back of the uh, the flower that I sprayed here, and then set the bottle cap right in the middle. And here is my bead. Which I love it and then on the back of this one I believe there's a crochet flower yeah oh sorry no that's close okay so there's that one and the next one is this one uh oh my bottle cap came out I'm just using double-sided tape because I'm hoping it doesn't mess up the, the paper um, so again with the bottle caps for the side and then again on this one I just put uh, glitter and glossy accents in the bottom and put the dragon fly in the middle and I used rosette trim I think it's what's called to um, for the outside of the bottle cap and then these are just some leaves I had in my sash that I think I got from my local scrapbook store and then here are my beads for this one and then this one here, this metal piece is from someone I got off of a, I got a bunch of them off of a eBay. Um, and so it's just a metal bronze filigree piece. And I just glued it to the bottle cap with that three-in-one glue. And now there's no bead on this one, but there is on this one. And again, it's just the magnet with the bottle cap. And those are my beads on the bottom. And again, the paper is from that same collection, um, Prima Mademoiselle. Okay. And then the last bottle cap that I have to show you today is this one. Ooh, 
Look back. There we go. There we go. And then there's this one. Um, again, magnets on both of the bottle caps on the on the outside. My beads. And then this one here in the middle. I guess it'll help if I point it to it. This one here in the middle. Um, I put a crocheted flower. Um, this bottle cap, I originally just put the patterned paper in the bottom with the glossy accents. And it looked really, really plain. I didn't like it at all. Um, and then I saw this flower in my stash, and it's actually a brad, and it fit perfectly right in the middle. So it just glued it down with my hot glue gun. Stuck my beads on the end there. And there you have it. And this is on a piece of 6x6 six six Prima Mademoiselle paper. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to put uh, toppers on all of these and... Um, send them out to Tamika so she can have them. All right? So I hope you guys like, and I will see you next time. Bye.